The past is your playground. Abstergo. Hello, Initiate. Recently, Abstergo Historical Research began several new projects in London. We both know that when Abstergo makes big moves, the Templars are up to something. We think they're hot on the trail of a new piece of Eden. I've got people in London looking for it. Hey, Bishop! Jacob and Evie Fry are twins. How awesome is that? Speak of the devil. Fire up your cameras, Bex. I've got picture. ETA on the payload? Sending it now. A lot to sift through. I'm gonna get the initiates on it ASAP. You look weird with a weapon. Let's plant a little bug and see what we can see. Got something. Isabel Ardant has a meeting here in a few hours. Uh, doesn't say with who. Doesn't say with whom, Rebecca. I suppose it's down to Muggins here to find out. Hold on. The mission was to find data to locate a piece of Eden in London. We did. And now I am eager to try this new kit. I don't like it when those two go off book like this. Well, all we can do is take a deep breath and move forward. You'll be searching for the piece of Eden through the lives of Jacob and Evie Fry. Twin assassins who operated in Victorian London. Your first set of genetic memories are downloaded. Good luck. Brother George, it is as I feared. London has fallen. Thrice I have written to you begging your aid. Thrice you've responded with silence. And yet I write again. So desperate my need, so few my options. I need you. London needs you. You would say it is too great of a task, or that it is not yet time to strike. Patience, you would counsel. But whilst you wait, the Templars consolidate their power. They have chosen a Grand Master so ruthless, so thorough, one might think Reginald Birch himself had returned. His name is Crawford Starrick, and he intends to rule the world. There is no aspect of society he does not control, no industry that escapes his grim touch. By day, it is corrupt merchants and venal politicians who hold court. Come night, a vicious street gang known as the Blighters strikes terror in the hearts of all. There is no business untainted by his poison, no person unexploited, be it by duplicity or force. Our enemy has designs on the highest office of them all. And so, as you look inward, and dare I say it, afraid, Crawford Starrick's ambition is fixed on the beyond, to kingdoms and continents as yet unconquered, though not for long, for he knows. As I have warned you time and time again, whosoever controls London, controls the world. The iron ships from here. The Templar running things is Rupert Ferris and our target one. Target two is Sir David Brewster, who's got his hands on a bauble that could ruin us in this wretched war. Think you both can handle it? What a question. All right. My mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, the unstoppable Fry twins. See them nightly at Covent Garden. George, honestly, I've studied the plans of the laboratory and have every route covered. And I've got all I need right here. I'll extend your regards to Ferris. Chat later, George. We've a train to catch. Jacob! Evie! 
May the creed guide you, you vagrants! Poor man. More afraid than ever. The years have not been kind. B.B. Fry, where do you get it from? The same place as you, Jacob. Send me some laudanum for my head. Coming right up. You are hearty, working Englishmen, are you not? Shouting at a bunch of French revolutionaries. What do you achieve by blocking the French dogs? The machine is in your car. Do you not think that there are hundreds who are far more strong? Do you not think? doing. Stop now! Before there's trouble! No one goes in or out, unless there's a problem. I hold the machines. That door opens, and I have my route to Ferris. Sanitary inspector. This man is dead. You're the dead man! Run along home. I'll tear you out of place for mercy!
trouble. Wait there! I'll chop you into bits! Mr. Ferris, sir, the, uh, the lad in the factory should be taken to be bandaged by the apothecary. Fine. But dock his wages. Yes, sir. Shall we arrive at a final price, Mr. Ferris? did you accomplish, boy? A vault loosened in Starrick's machine. A large vault. But not enough. 
Your Grandmaster will fall. You assassins can circle London to your heart's content. The mechanism we have built has been going strong for a hundred years, and will run a thousand more. It is the very city itself. We will take London from your hands. From Croydon? You lurk in the shadows like a coward. I doubt it. We seem to have made an unscheduled stop. next time I'll walk. Yard. Guard quarters. Bruce's laboratory. This is where the piece of Eden will be located. No loose ends. Now, did a couple the locomotive and create a diversion. Well, where is it? Huh? Where's Brewster's supplies? Meter.
David. Me down the tracks. You stay here and keep a lookout. All right. I'll shout if I get any bother. First for a bird's eye view. Can't be too careful. I'm gonna come apart. Not your concern. Bring back the cargo. Weeks with the device. Your questionable practices are beginning to draw unwanted attention. You have been given more than enough time to achieve results, Sir David. I was unaware that you expected me to perform like a cocker spaniel. Permit me to remind you of your obligation to the Order. Miss Thorne, you ride me like a racehorse. Sir David, I will return tomorrow. If you have not unlocked the device's secrets, forget your dogs and horses. I will leave you to the wolves. Good day. I was merely promised a tour of the premises, my lords. Who sent you? It's one of green spies. Get that man to interrogation. Then I want him brought to the lab. 
What a pity. But no deviations from the mission. Laboratory. Well, well. Perhaps I can aid this interrogation. Stop. No. <laughs> no, no. 
Thank you kindly. I was in ever such a squeaky fix when, what do you know? You rescue me. Where's the hidden laboratory? Untie me and then we can parlay, my lady. I'm pressed for time. Tell me now. It's underground. Requires a key. One of the guards nicked mine, cheeky sod. Thank you. Uh, now, untie me? You got yourself in? I trust you can get yourself out again. Not to worry, my lady. Can still recall a couple of tricks from me carnival days. Charming. See that artifact. Not if you value your life. up out of hell itself. Oh, Mark and the poet. What else? Ain't nothing else. And you should keep to your work. Sometimes they're screaming. Really? There you are. The entrance to Bruce's lab. There's someone playing Get tricks up. on me. No sense wasting time on her.
back on track. of Eden. Increase the electricity. But it'll become unstable, sir. You heard what Miss Thorne said. We need results now. blasted artifact for Edinburgh. If you don't mind me saying, that would be an exceptionally bad idea. Why? It's God's apple on hers. I think it's amazing. I think It is 
time to lay down your head, Sir David Brewster. But I have so much more to discover. Do not be afraid. I'm not. God will protect me. I will continue your experiment. You will not stop, Staric. Miss Thorne has already found another piece of Eden, more powerful than the last. I will take that one too. Will we fight to gain what we cannot take with us? It's in our nature. Was there explosion? What explosion? EV. Piece of Eden detonated and took the lab with it. The magic lump of hyperbolic metal. I'm shocked. Simply because you have never valued the pieces does not All mean... went according to plan, hmm? <clears throat> there was a slight complication. How slight? The lab exploded. Jacob. You derailed a train. Oh, he did. Did he? Well, the train derailed and I happened to be on it. I killed my target. Brewster is also no more. Then all in all, a successful mission in spite of you two. What about London? What about it? We're wasting our time out here. You know as well as I do that London has been the domain of the Templars for the last hundred years. They are far too strong yet. Patience. But the Templars have found a new piece of Eden. Sir David is dead. They do not know how to use it. The Council shall guide us. Sound advice that your father would have seconded. I shall see you back in Crawley. Patience, Evie. Ah, oh, the gentle sound of opportunity passing us by. So what's stopping us? London is waiting to be liberated. Forget Crawley. Father would have wanted us to listen. Oh, Father, you could continue his legacy in London. Freeing future generations from a city ruled by Templars. You know, Jacob Fry, you might just be right. Then shall we? Yes, let's. Onward to London. I 
I know, I know. You've only had a taste of our latest acquisition from Abstergo. But I want to check in on Sean and Rebecca. I still think attacking a Templar is a mistake. Call Dr. Grammatica. Come on. Please, Appel. What a lovely surprise. Our mutual friends will be here shortly to search for the artifact. Once it's located, I'll let you know. Super. Always a pleasure. Prick. It's people like you that give historians a bad name. I'm afraid I don't have time for you today, Mr. Hastings. Thank you for making my job easy. Oh, shit. It does look grim. Master Berg, Agent Acosta. Deal with them, please. Move it! Hunt them down! All they had to do was wait for you to search the data. Their little stunt has put the whole operation at risk. You need to synchronize Jacob and Evie's memories. Find something that puts us ahead of the enemy. Time is of the essence, and lives are now clearly on the line. Good luck. I've never seen so many people all at once. <laughs> the churning seas of London. It's just the way Father described. Now, to find Henry Green and formulate a plan of attack against the Templars. Is Mr. Green again? The assassin watching over London? Did you not listen the first three times? Listen to what? <laughs> <gasps> Oi, watch it. Ben pardon, sir. Oi! Come back here, you filthy Jacob, dipper! Stop. little mobsman. Keep it. Well, well. What do we have here? You're on our property. Great, great, act. does London have to offer? Now is not the time for tourism, Jacob. Now's the time to find Henry Green. I've always been the quicker climber, haven't I? Not since we were two. Race you to the highest vantage point. You're going to lose again. Not on my watch. Green shop located. It was marked on Father's map. Two assassins, equal in height, one female, one male, two decades old, and those devilish smiles. You must be the Fry Twins. And you are? Henry Green, at your service. I was sorry to learn about your father's passing. Thank you. What can you tell us about Crawford Starrick? I suppose the Council desires news. London must be freed to provide a better future for all of its citizens. Well, thank goodness the Council saw reason and sent you to aid us. Yes. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, I am the bearer of bad news. Today, Starrick, 
sits at the helm of the most sophisticated Templar infrastructure known in the Western world. Every class, every borough, the gangs, the industries. His reach extends all across London. I've always thought of myself as a gang leader. Firm, but fair. Huh. Well, I have uniforms. And I'll unite a mix of disenfranchised outsiders under one name. That's it, Evie. We can rally them to our side. Oh, like the way that you rallied those car players at the Oakwood Tavern into the river. Oh, that was different. They beat me at whist. I can see it now. We'll call ourselves the Rooks. You're never good at chess either. Have you got a better plan? Find the piece of Eden. Oh, well, let me show you the lay of the land. Shall we? This is the highest point in Whitechapel. Look at what Starrick has done to the city. Whitechapel is riddled with crime. Child labor, despite regulations. A gang known as the Blighters overruns the streets, and Templars manipulating behind the scenes. As in all the other boroughs, we need to return this city to the people who built it in the first place. We will free London from Starrick. You have my word. I my rooks. Miss Fry, your passion is inspiring. Come, let us return to my shop and I can bring you up to date on the rest. looking for me. Who's Kalok? One of Starrick's gang leaders. Why does he want you? He's after some of my more arcane research into one of the precursor artifacts. The Peace of Eden. So tell me about these blighters. In search of an army, Starrick gathered up the nastiest of the underworld. Some of the city's gangs tried to prevent it and were slaughtered for their efforts. Now, only Whitechapel's clinkers remain opposed, but they're no match for the blighters. Well, let's shine these clinkers up then, shall we? They're just the sort we're looking for. You can't be serious. Evie, they're ready to fight and oppose the Blighters. This is my chance to step in. Look out, London. Here come the Rooks. <laughs> Confound this city. No one looks where they're going. Yes, I've noticed that. Bloody drood! I'll never finish it at this rate. Only Providence knows where those words are headed now. Well, I must get to work replacing them. Should you ever be in the mood for a tale or two, you can always find me where the ale is warm and tempers are hot. Ta-ta! What an odd man. That Mr. Fry was Charles Dickens. Knows everyone and everything in the city. If I were you, I would keep that connection in your back pocket. <clears throat> Kalok's gang is nearby. They must not follow me back to my shop. We'll take care of it. Here. You might be able to use this. Oh, God, I hope so. My carriage is nearby. Make use of it to throw them off my trail. I will meet you at the curio shop. Doing fine, girl. We need to lead them away from green. Here comes trouble. Their carriages are easily damaged. Caleb will rule the day. They've gone. Now 
to return to Mr. Green. Aye, aye, Captain. You're relentless. That relentlessness will see me become master when we finish this. George would do nothing of the sort. Whatever's left of the Creed would perish under your control. Harsh words, dear sister. I do hope Mr. Green made it back safely. Don't tell me you fancy the bloke already. And what do you suggest we do if our number one source of information turns up dead? Starry can't be that hard to find. I say you turn the carriage round and go find him. This is why you aren't in charge. That's the way. You give them the slip. We gave them more than that. Who are all these people? Over the years, I have established a number of connections across the city. Splendid. We'll need focused aid. Focused aid? <sighs> we take over Starek's gangs, we cripple his control. You're not aiming high enough. Starek has influence in every branch of society. We need to match him. I see what you're saying, Evie. We need the Rooks. You are not starting a gang called the Rooks. I believe I may have an idea of my own. We will need the police to turn a blind eye to activities. My ally in the force, Sergeant Abilene. I've heard he's a master of disguise. Next up, urchins. 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 Children make for excellent spies. Clara O'Day. Smart as a whip, that one. Finally, you would be wise to remember that Starrick never acts alone. There are gang leaders in every borough. You'll meet them soon enough, no doubt. Rexford Kaylock, known for his ability to vanish before your very eyes. Should we make him vanish for real? I suppose. One moment. Um, a Templar target you might want to look into. Uh, be cautious. It's rough out there. No, don't worry about me, Greeny. I can handle a few thugs. What's the plan, then, oh mighty planner? You're the one with the grand ideas. The gangs, the fights, even the outfits you'll wear. Perhaps you should lead the way. If you insist. Have a good day, sir.
I don't see Mr. Avalon. Well, we tried. Psst. I may know a thing or two about that splendid fellow you're talking about. What's this? Are you trying to blow the gaff? What? Sergeant Avaline, at your service. I presume you're the Fry Twins Green mentioned. I was expecting you to be a policeman. I was expecting you to be discreet. Henry Green said that you could help us go unnoticed. This is how it will work. I will give you the names of criminal gang members. You will bring them back to me. Quietly. Oh, we'll be as quiet as an old lady. A very hairy, strange old lady that looks a lot like a policeman. Whatever you do, try to remain within the bounds of the law, for my sake. I don't need any corpses at the station. Approach the target from behind and attempt to make them talk. Then bring them to my carriage.
Get off me! Let's Piss off! For a stroll. Oi! Shut your mouth. Meet my blade. Get your hands off me! Stop squeezing people of every last penny and we'll talk. Kaylock, we hear of this terrible mistake you've made. <laughs> oh, for God's sake! Scream and it'll be your last. Soldier? No? All right, then. Is this a thanks a man gets for defending his country? We're fine, here. Oh, for God's sake! have the chance to scream save me, let alone pay Kaylock a visit. See him behind bars. Thank you.
is this place? It's nice to meet you both at last. This is Babylon Alley. Here, we make it our business to know the streets and provide children with the opportunity to control their own destinies. Clara. Mr. Green said we might be able to help one another. In exchange for our services, we ask a small favor. Well, why not? You seem to have taken most of my money. Why not take a small favor, too? There are several factories about the city that are powered almost entirely by child labor. Those children work long hours with little pay, and most are not permitted even to leave the factory grounds. They suffer terribly. I need you to save them. A small favor. In return, we offer you intelligence. Something you clearly need. Oh, hold on a minute. I'm late for an appointment. What are these terms? We accept. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. right back. Are you working for Clara, Miss? Oh, she's a bit odd. She's having a little rich, eh? Hey?
well. What do you reckon she's up to? <laughs> We can harness the gangs after all. You saved me. You're not the only one with a grudge against the blighters. Yes. 
serves you right. You and your brother are attracting the wrong kind of attention. I would be careful. Yes, you should be, Mr. Kalok. As you like. To you, old friend. It's How many coins do I have left to distribute? <laughs> Only about a dozen, sir. Excellent. I'll go and see what Soon all of the noise fighters will be armed to the teeth. No, Bobby's in sight. Good. Distribute. Oh! The time. Oh! Yes. Very good, sir. We want this to come into the fighters' hands without harm. No mishaps. Bloody vandals. Think they own the street. No respect for other people. Wonder who she's hiding from. Hey? Bloody vandals. I'll do anything you want if you save me. Anything. How many crates do we have left to distribute? Only about a dozen, sir. Excellent. Soon all of London's blighters will be armed to the teeth. No, Bobby's Don't in kill sight. Me, please. I'm bloody desperate. Good. Distribute the dynamite then, and carefully. Very good, sir. We want this to come into the blighter's hands without harm. No mishaps. You check the quality.
Ah, there you are. All that stands between you and Whitechapel is the villain controlling the borough. Kaylock has demanded you settle the claim for territory in a gang fight. His loss? Here. I'm sure you can put this to better use than I can. Oh, what's this, Greeny? Assassin Christmas. <laughs> Gather your allies. Mr. Rexford Kaylock has agreed to your terms and waits for you at the Whitechapel train station. He's bet his train on the fire. Where are you, Kaylock? Perhaps this will draw you out. Rux! To arms! Make me proud! 
appears to be broken. Oh well, at least we have a train now. It's not all bad. I'd rather throw myself to the tracks and run Bertha another mile for that dirty bow bag. Kaylock? <laughs> He's left the station. Mel! Hello, fancy pants. And who might you I'm Evie be? Fry, and this is my brother, Jacob Fry. Pleased to meet you. I'm Agnes McBean. A delight. I thought I was getting a promotion. I suppose I'm out of work now. Come work for us instead. <laughs> I won't bail your heat. You pay better than scraps? Oh, I'm sure we can at least match that. <laughs> then may I present to you Agnes and Bertha, lady and locomotive, at your service. I'll be in the next car. A hideout on the rails? What an excellent idea. Yes, it all worked out rather well. Now, I would like to follow up a lead on... Jacob? Is this serious? I'm not doing anything until this gets fixed. I believe I know someone who can help with that. I knew you would, Greeny. You know, a mite of money goes a mickle bit in this city. Think of the power of good you can do with the purse you bring. You talk a restore in London. Well, now's your chance. That there map shows who to speak to. Old friends, if you will. Give me a whiff of that sterling, and maybe you can save us all from having to leave doing our next... Now, enough shop talk. 
believe Mr. Green said there was someone he wanted you to meet. <sighs> Everything you need to... You have a present day now. I'm coming over and teaching you. 